What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to find company financials on the CDAR platform. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so if you're looking up a Canadian company and you're trying to find their financials or their news release or their press release or whatever you are looking for, you are probably going to find it on the CDAR website. This is going to be the best resource for you to find direct company announcements, releases, and financials. And so it is a terrible website. I'm going to give you that up front. It is an awful looking website, but it does the job and it does the job well and it's pretty reliable. So if you just go to CDAR.com, S-E-D-A-R.com. We are live in Canada and so everything has to be in English and French and so the first thing you need to choose is what language works best for you. So I'm going to go with English and then it is going to bring you to the home page here and yes, it looks like this website was built in the 90s and I don't know if they're ever going to update it. It has looked like this for as long as I can remember but like I said, it works and the tool that I like to use the most is this one right here where it says search database. This is the, the button that I find myself clicking on most often because this is how I look up companies and so when you click on search database it asks if you're looking for an investment fund or a company and so me I am 99% of the time always looking for a company because I don't really invest in funds or, or mutual funds I kind of do all of my own investing so I am looking directly for company documents and then it brings you to this search page and for whatever reason the background changes to white I just don't understand it but it brings you to this search page and this is where you have to basically type in the name of the company that you are looking for. So for us in this example, we are gonna look up Drone Delivery Canada. This is a company that I like. I make a bunch of videos about them. And for me, when I'm typing in a company or trying to find a company, I usually just type in the company name and then I leave the rest of it blank here. Now, if you just click enter, it is going to give you search help and it's not gonna take you to the page that you want. So you have to manually click on the search button right here and then it is going to give you, oh, I clearly spelt something wrong. Drone, oh, I wrote drone twice. Okay, Drone Delivery Canada. And so here you can see all of the different announcements and press releases and basically everything you need to know about Drone Delivery Canada. The problem with how this is organized is that it doesn't go in ascending order based on date, which is usually how I like to gather my information. So first thing I do is I click on the company name here and then I click on view this company's documents and that will automatically organize everything into the date of filing. And this is really exciting because Drone Delivery Canada actually put out an announcement today day, October 18th. And so as you can see, CDAR has an announcement right here. You can click on the news release. It is going to bring up a new window for you to look at, and then you will be able to go through that entire news release. You can also see the financials right here. So anytime a company releases their financials, there's a couple of documents that come out. Number one is the actual financial statements. Number two is the management discussion and analysis. You can see that right here. And then number three is the certificate of interim filings. This is basically where the CFO and the CEO sign off on a document that says, yes, we approve these statements, we approve these financials, this is true to the best of our ability. And so that's what these documents are right here. Before that, you can see a bunch of news releases. So Drone Delivery Canada has put out a bunch of news releases lately. You can also see the form of proxy, the code of conduct, the management information circular. So these kind of documents here are all referring to their yearly annual meeting. And uh, this is kind of the results of the annual meeting. You have another set of financials right here and then some more press releases. And so very, very exciting. And as you can see, all of the documents are there. Now, if you want to go back and search for another company, all you do is go to search database. I click on company again. And let's say that we want to search up Gold Mountain. This is another company that I like. And we can go through and we can actually go through everything here. I'm going to click on Gold Mountain again, go to the company documents and we'll organize everything in terms of the date. That is how I like to view these documents. So if you're going to read through all of the company press releases, you can organize it and you can read them in the order that they came out so that if a deal gets announced and then a deal closes and then the transaction is processed and those are all different press releases, you can sort of take them chronologically and understand the company a little bit better. So that is how I like to view this platform. Now, once you click on the company's financials, so for instance, Gold Mountain Interim Financial Statements Report right here, it is going to bring up a new window for you and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Okay, so here's the new window that just came up and it's basically a terms of use and you have to acknowledge all of these terms and understand that this is a financial statement from a company, it's not represented by CDAR, all of that kind of thing. And then you have to fill out this basically skill testing question right here. And sometimes 
it's very, very difficult. And sometimes you can't tell what is a capital and what isn't capitalized. And I have just lost my mind with that little skill testing question thing there before, but usually I can get it on the first try or the second try. Now, here are the financials for the company. So we have gone to Cedar, we have found the company, we've looked up the financials, and as you can see, here's the Gold Mountain first page, here is the balance sheet, here is the income statement right here, and then here is probably the statement of cash flows. No, this is changes in shareholder equity, and then you've got the statement of cash flows right here. And so now you can access the entire company financials and you can go through the exact same process if you wanna read the management discussion and analysis, if you wanna see the certificate, if you wanna go through the press release, is, all you have to do is click on those links on CDAR and then you can open up the documents right here. Okay, now the last few things that I want to show you on the platform here are the web links and the new filings, but let's start with the web links. So I like this profile here because it gives you links to all of the regulatory sites. So no matter where you live, if you have questions about regulations, if you have questions about the exchanges, if you have questions about anything in general that has to do with how to trade in the market, you can probably find the answer here on this page. And the last thing that I want to show you is the new filings page. This is pretty exciting. So if you're just looking to see what's happening in the market, what companies are putting out releases you can click on all new company filings and you can scroll down and you can see what is going on in the markets you can see what company is putting out news releases and you can really just kind of get an idea for what is going on in the markets you can also go back here and you can look at annual reports financial statements and you can sort of sort things based on what documents you're looking for so if you like to trade the earnings you can actually just search by companies that have just released their earnings and so lots of great tools on here it's actually a fantastic website it works really well. It's never gone down on me and it's never changed since I started, which also makes things pretty easy. So I like the CDR website. It looks like it was built in the 1980s, but this is how you use it. This is how you find the documents. And these are some of the tools that come with the website. So if you get any value out of this video, remember to click that like and subscribe button. I sincerely appreciate it. And if you're interested in learning about how to trade the stock market and actually invest in the right companies, then definitely check out my completely free course. It's hosted on Skillshare and the link is in the description down below to this video. There's over 10 hours of content on there. Over 8,000 students have already taken the course. There's over 325 reviews for you to take a look at. And like I said, the entire 10 hour course is completely free for two weeks when you use the link in the description to this video. Cancel in under two weeks, you get the entire thing for free. I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.